What's up guys, Technova here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using MF hoppers. MF hoppers is a simple but powerful automation add-on for your server, featuring a mob grinder, automatic farmer and block breaker all with minimal setup. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for MF Hoppers. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. While this plugin is simple, it doesn't have much setup or permissions that need to be given. If your server has an economy plugin set up, Users can use slash convert hopper as long as they have the MFH convert permission. This command opens a GUI that users can convert vanilla hoppers into these modded hoppers using in-game currency. You can change the available hoppers and their prices in the config later. You can also creatively give them to yourself by using slash MFH give, which is the command we'll mostly be using. As long as you have the MFH give permission or OP, you're able to use slash MFH give player name followed by one of the hopper types. I'll give myself one of each hopper and we'll run through them. The first two are break hoppers that mine the block above them. These are useful for even basic things like cobblestone generators. By default, the block breaker is very slow, but it does slowly work in the background all the time. The block breaker with upgrades allows you to shift right click on it to upgrade it to make it faster. When you click upgrade, you'll see exactly how much experience you need to upgrade it. I'll run slash experience add techno 1000 to give myself 1000 experience. After upgrading, 26 levels are taken and you'll see it's upgraded. You can also change it from experience to in-game balance by the config. Once it's level 2, you aren't able to upgrade it again and shift right clicking does nothing. By default, there are two levels. You're able to add more as well as change the cost in the config. The upgradable hopper by default will only break diamond ore. However, by adding the line break all true to the upgradable hopper, as well as its leveled versions, it will mine anything you throw at it. Crop hoppers vacuum up specific item drops that happen within the same chunk. So if you build a cactus farm, placing a hopper will suck up any drops of cactus in that chunk. By default, cactus is the only drop it'll pick up, but you can add more in the config later. The mob grind hopper teleports mobs on top of it from anywhere within the same chunk and freezes them in place. By default, it doesn't kill the mob, so you'll have to set up lava or something else to do this, then it'll transfer all the items into a chest. The mob hopper pulls mob drops from anywhere within the same chunk. By default, it only collects rotten flesh. The last command is slash link hopper, which we can use while staring at any one of the hoppers in this plugin, then crouch and right click on a container to wirelessly link the two together. This way you won't need chests right under your hoppers or complicated transport tracks. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Config.yml is where all these settings are kept. In here, you can adjust the things we mentioned earlier, like adding break all true, to the break hopper and break with upgrades hopper. You're also able to adjust item names and the information that's shown when hovering over them. For hoppers that interact with entities, you're able to add entities and edit their whitelists, such as crops for the crop hopper, drops for the break hopper, break with upgrades hopper and grind hopper, as well as mob for the mob hopper. There are also options to avoid named entities under some hoppers which will make sure not to destroy valuable items or mobs that happen to enter the same area. You're also able to adjust particle effects. The Break with Upgrades hopper is set to Cloud by default, but the Upgraded hopper is set to Splash. Servers that don't have this particle effect will find their console filled with errors saying Splash is no valid particle for your version. Changing this to Cloud or any other effect will fix this. To change the upgrade cost from experience to in-game currency, find price type and change XP to Eco for economy and adjust the price accordingly. To add more hoppers to the convert shop and adjust their prices, add to the list under hoppers. While most settings here are self-explanatory, there's also a GitHub wiki for some documentation and a plugin Discord. But that's it for now. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.